really welcome to my channel in my last video i used the sugar pill capsule collection palette and i showed you guys that i got the mini color palette and a lot of you guys surprisingly said you wanted me to do a video on this even though it's been out for a while so that's what i want to do today with this palette so i'm gonna do one look using just this palette and i pulled out a bunch of my stila liquid eyeshadows and i also mentioned that i recognized this palette from a video from at least so i wanted to recreate the look that she did so i think i have i have this palette and she only used one shade and then i have another kind of glitter shade that i think would be pretty comparable in what she used so i'm excited to get into this video with you guys per usual i'm gonna prime my eyes with the anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow primer and we're gonna get into the first look with this palette all right getting into this first look i'm gonna first take the shade twitch and i'm gonna put it right into my inner corner right here these shades are so interesting they're not like your typical lime green I don't know how to describe it. I feel like that's what really drew me into this palette because they're not like your typical rainbow shades. And then I'm gonna take the shade Rage Quit and I'm gonna put this in, whoa, that is way more pigmented than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, Ooh, gotta dust my brush off here. Trying to blend these shades together. And then I'm gonna go back in with Twitch Kind of touch that up a little bit more and then i'm gonna take the shade game over i'm so excited for this shade this one looks awesome whoa that is such a cool shade and then i think i'm gonna take the shade level up the one in the middle i'm gonna try that shade in the center here i feel like that one just has a little bit eh, it, Seems like it'll blend better. The other one's just a little bit more um, like magenta-y pink. And then I'm gonna take game over on just an eyeshadow brush and just go and tap over this outer corner. And then I'm gonna take the shade Cheat Code and I'm gonna put this kind of in the inner crease area. And then I'm gonna take the shade Continue, pack it on, this is a cool yellow. It's like a, it's like a bright yellow, but muted in a way. So far, I feel like the formula for this palette, for the mattes, is a little bit better than the capsule palette. And then I'm gonna take the shade Game Over. I'm gonna run it underneath the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Cheat Code. I'm gonna put it on my inner lower lash line. And I'm gonna take Continue. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. I like these three all lined up. I don't know what it reminds me of. And then I'm just gonna take the Brain Freeze palette and I'm just gonna take the shade Cold Shoulder. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with that shade. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup up and I'll show you guys the finished look. And this is the look all completed. I use the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Heavy on my lips, like a nude stain to kind of complement this like more colorful look. And then I line my eyes with a black eyeliner. I was gonna do a wing, but then I was like, hmm, I kind of like how these shades look on my eyes like a fun tropical spring pop of a array of colors but as always with my three looks one palette videos let me know which of the three looks was your favorite down in the comments but let's get into the second look all right jumping into the second look my eyes are primed i'm gonna take the shade continue and i'm gonna blend that all into my crease here i'm not really focusing it on it being too pigmented i just kind of want it as a transition and then i'm gonna take the shade cheat code i really like how this shade looks on my outer corner and all into 
my crease going right over the yellow. So for everyone who's wondering how Tash did when he was getting fixed, he did pretty well. He is recovering really well. He hasn't changed one bit in personality. He's not even phased by the fact that he got fixed. He's super hyper happy puppy. And then I'm gonna take the shade Cheat Code again, put it underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Cheat Code and Player One. And I'm gonna mix these two. Hopefully with mixing them, it's not gonna be too purple. I kind of want something just to deepen up this like outer corner. I still want it to be kind of, kind of purpley. Oh, that's an interesting color that it made. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's like an interesting, like blue. These colors really mix and layer so well over each other. And then I'm just taking cheat code Go and kind of like back over that shade that I just made. Make it a little bit deeper. I still want it to be a little bit more like a turquoise -y shade instead of like that baby blue that I made. All right, now we're gonna have some fun with the Stila liquid eyeshadows. These are the shade Mistray. Uh, this one's called Psychic. Psychic. I haven't used this in so long. I am so excited. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna put it all over my crease here. And this specific shade has like a bluey purple reflect. And then I'm gonna take it on a brush and just pat a second layer over and blend the edges a little bit more. This shade is so pretty, but I'm not gonna stop there because I love these. So I'm gonna take the shade Spiritual, which is this really pretty yellow gold shade, a little bit on a brush, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner, just like that. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rest of this makeup look and I will be right back. All right, and this is the finished second look. I went a little crazy. I started playing with makeup a little bit too much, but I put on some lashes these are the Velour Effortless Lashes. They just add a little, a little bit more ba ba boom. And for my lips, I mix the stain that I already had on from the last look with the Jeffree Star Lipstick in Allegedly. And then for my highlighter, I use the Peppermint Frost Highlighter in Igloo gold and I was kind of thinking it was going to be a lot more gold and I put it on and it was like hello silver on me so <laughs> instead of putting more on we're just gonna roll with it but this is a finished second look I like how this looks a lot a little something kind of easy to do I mean if you think about it you just kind of slap makeup on pretty much one shade a little liquid eyeshadow on your lid some mascara and then you're pretty much good to go and i feel like you can do that with pretty much any shade in this palette i mean i think a really cool look would be like if you did hardly any eyeshadow on your eyes and then just like a wing some lashes maybe a little brown in your crease and then you could honestly use like any of these shades and just like as a pop in your inner corner I think that would look really cool, especially with Twitch. A little light green pop in your inner corner with the wing. But now let's get on to the third look. All right, so we're down to our third look. This last one's gonna be pretty easy. We're only gonna be using one shade out of the palette, but this is a look that I saw at Lee doing and I really want to recreate it. So I'm gonna take 8-Bit, the one in the top middle. If you guys noticed, I kind of avoided using this shade with the other two looks that I did because I really wanted to use it for this specific look. Cause this is like a really interesting, like periwinkle, pastel-y, bluish purple, but I'm just gonna lightly put it into my crease a bit. And then I'm gonna take that same shade and put it underneath my lower lash line. And then now that I got all the spots I want 
kind of blended more, I'm just gonna take the same shade with an eyeshadow brush and really pack it onto my lid here. I really can't tell which shade is my favorite out of this palette. I was trying to think of that earlier and I was like, I really don't have a favorite shade out of this palette. I mean, I love this shade. I love that last look that I did with the blue all over the lid. I love the yellow. But do you guys see what I mean where I say like these shades, like this like mini rainbow palette is like, it's a little different. Like it's not your normal rainbow. It's kind of like a, your rainbow, but with like a grungy fun twist to it. So with Ed Leeds video, she used the Makeup Forever powder glitter. And I don't know if this is the same shade, but I do have this one and I do want to try it out because I feel like her looks look really pretty. So this is just the Makeup Forever Starlet Liquid in 01. And I'm gonna kind of paint it on my finger. Let's hope this works out. I don't really know how well this is gonna work. So, oh, that's a lot. All right, I'm just gonna kind of pat it around. Oh, it's kind of removing the eyeshadow underneath. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, that's so fun. All right, we're gonna leave this side alone for a second. I'm gonna try this other side with a brush and see if it still removes the eyeshadow. I mean, this has been kind of sitting here for a little bit. Ah, uh, I think this is removing the eyeshadow too. I mean, it's a little bit better but it's still removing that color that's underneath. Mmm. I don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna take 8-bit and I'm just gonna go right over what I did. And if there's some glitter coming through, it's okay. We're gonna do a plan B. Plan B, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb and How Many Carrots. And I'm gonna take this with my finger and press that on my lid. There we go. Oh my gosh. I should have just done this to begin with. I'm kind of putting it a little bit in my crease, but I think that looks pretty cool. And it didn't remove all the eyeshadow. So I have another highlighter that I just got in the mail today and I'm super excited to try it out. This is the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost in Choky on Ice. And I'm gonna use it for the first time. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think this is gonna look so pretty. I haven't, I don't have the other Extreme Frost. Ooh, that looks so cool. The one thing that I like about these Extreme Frost that I noticed when swatching them is then when you look kind of straight ahead and it's not really catching the light, it gives it like a wet look. And then when it catches the light, it has, it shows like the really pretty, like neon part of the color. And I'm also gonna put the Extreme Frost in my inner corner. Ooh, so with the Extreme Frost, I'm kind of gonna put it up into my crease right here. That looks kind of cool. I should have just put the extreme frost all over my eyes, but I'm gonna finish up the rest of this look and I'll be back. All right, and this is the finished final look. I really like how this turned out. I like how my lid looks sparkly and wet. I love the extreme frost. I use the Fenty Senna Lip Paint and Uncuff for my lipstick. I don't remember what the name of these lashes are, but love all these looks. I actually think I like this palette more than the capsule palette. If I had to choose, if both of them disappeared and I had to go and rebuy one, I would definitely rebuy this one first because I think the colors are pretty unique out of here. They're pretty easy to blend. 
They show up pretty well. I mean, it's a $28 six pan, six pan, nine pan eyeshadow palette. I think it's bomb. So that's my little three looks, one palette mini review. Let me know which look was your favorite. And if you haven't seen my three looks with the Capsule One Pink Edition palette, I'll have that video right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here. Click on it and subscribe to my channel.